So I just wanted to introduce myself. That's me right here. Hi, hi. So you guys have seen me before. You've often heard my voice because I broke my wrist and I wasn't able to do a lot of things for a while. So one of my uh, dear friends, Ashley, was the fitness model. She recently moved to Aspen to retire, which, wow, bummer for her, right? So she's no longer able to be the fitness model. So the, the best alternative is these two females here, Anna and Jen. Jen is in the blue X Endurance. Anna is in the white shirt. They're gonna be the fitness models today. They're gonna to be suffering right alongside all of you. Yay! So we'll start by standing tall, reaching up to the ceiling. We're gonna take you through a flow sequence that's gonna warm up your body a little bit. So pull the wrists away from the side body, pull it out of the elbow, out of the shoulder. Length, find length here. And then forward fold all the way down. Let your head hang heavy. This is a body weight exercise um, throughout this entire session, so you don't need any weight. But if you have some, I'm sure you'd be able to figure out a way to incorporate it. Plant your right hand down, bring your left hand high. You can bend into your right knee so that the entire surface area of your palm touches the ground. Reach up high with the left hand. You can also take the wrap and then release, switch hands, left hand plants, right hand goes high. Take the wrap here if you'd like, but really bend into that left knee so that entire surface area of your palm is on the ground, no kickstand with your thumb. And then release, go ahead and walk your hands out to the top of a push-up. Take two push-ups, and then go ahead and bring your right foot up to meet your right hand. So you'll find yourself in a deep runner's lunge here. So sink deep into this runner's lunge, plant your right hand down, bring your left hand high. So you're opening up your heart space to that right side. You could take the wrap behind the back here if you want, if you are able. And then release, step your foot back, two more push-ups. And then your left foot comes up to meet your left hand. Once again, in that deep runner's lunge, plant your right hand down, bring your left hand high this time, opening up to the right side. Left side, just kidding, left side. And then release, step your foot back. So go ahead and walk your hands back to your feet right here. Stay hinged over in that forward folded position. Your head is hanging heavy and I want you to feel the weight of your head just collapse toward the ground. So head hangs heavy and you breathe. And then slower than you wanna go, being mindful of every single vertebrae, you roll up to standing. Up, up, up we go. Good job. And these fancy fitness models have no idea what's in store for them, just like you have no idea what's in store for you. I like to keep it, you know, collectively suspenseful for everybody. So these fashion fitness models have no idea what they're about to do. So this is going to be an every minute on the minute sequence. So you're going to do a walkout to push up to walk back in to a jump tuck. So every minute on the minute, you're gonna walk your hands out to the top of a push-up, take the push-up, walk your hands back to your feet, and then take a tuck jump so your knees come up. You're gonna take five of those every minute on the minute. This is the warm-up sequence, team. So I'll be holding the timer. So taking that tuck jump, and your knees are gonna come as close to the chest as possible using your abs to walk your hands out to the top of the push-up, taking the push-up and then using your abs to walk back to your feet. Every minute on the minute for five whole minutes to get started. Everybody got it. Here we go. Let me get the, let me get the timer connected, wrap your brain around the next five minutes. Five total, walking your hands out, walking them back in and then do not forget the tuck jump very important piece of it. All right, here we go, team. We're gonna get started in 15 seconds. So standing tall each time, that tuck jump will require you to stand tall because you'll have to jump high. Here we go in three, two, one. You're responsible for five total reps.
Five total reps and then you get to rest. Good work, everybody. Then you get to breathe and feel good about it. Shake it out. Stretch your body if you're feeling a little bit of a, a soreness or any kind of tightness. 15 seconds and we go again, round two. So make the tuck jump very high. Try to get some vertical distance on your jump. Here we go in five seconds. Three, two, and round two, go. Good work, everybody. Once you get through those five, you get that time to recover once again. Warming up your body, stretching out your legs, feeling your entire body warm up, wake up. 10 seconds and we do round three. Five total reps, here we go. Three, two, and go. Good work, team. Good, Emily. High five yourself by giving yourself a round of applause. Pretend it's your best friend. Good job, team. Round four coming up in 10 seconds. Still responsible for those five reps. Make sure you take a good push up at the bottom. And go. Good job, everybody. Staying hyper motivated. High quality reps because you know you got the time to do it. So coming up on the final minute of this sequence, in 10 seconds, you're just responsible for five more reps. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Good work, everybody. And bringing it down. Good job. I feel like everybody's probably pretty warmed up. Are you guys pretty warmed up? Feeling good about it? Anna's pretty warmed up. All right, we're moving on, sequence two. So once again, all of these are body weight movements, but if you do have weight, you can incorporate them any way you see fit. So here, this round will be 45 seconds on of movements. We're gonna start with a curtsy lunge pulse. 
So we're gonna take the left leg and we're gonna bring it behind us diagonally. And then you're gonna pulse low in that curtsy lunge position, never coming all the way to standing, staying low through that curtsy lunge for 45 seconds. And then we're gonna to move to the other side, 45 seconds. We're gonna go back and forth through that for three rounds and on the fourth round, we're gonna burn out as long as possible and as soon as you can do it no longer, you take yourself into a plank position. That'll be the first round. We'll demo the next movement on the second round, but we're gonna move through four total movements in this sequence, starting with that curtsy pulse lunge. 45 seconds here, back and forth, side to side we go. Let's do it. 45 seconds of your best self showing up right here, cause you can, cause it's Friday. Here we go team, starting in 10 seconds. Take that left leg behind you and you're staying low through that pulsing motion. This will burn and go. So diagonal behind you and to the side. Feeling the outer part of that glute muscle working. Emily's the over overachiever of the day. Award goes to you. Looking very strong, team. Hold on to it. Good work, Karen. So just 12 seconds to go, and then we switch immediately into that other side. Good work. And switching sides. Go. So deep pulsing sensation. Feel that hip flexor working, but try to put the weight in the heel of that front foot. Staying low, good job. That's it, Jessica. Three, two, and one. Back to that original side and go. So very, very stable upper body, isolating the upper body, just moving through that knee, keeping the burn in the glutes and the quads. Here we go in five seconds, switching legs in three, two, and one. And switch. Remember, try to avoid hinging at the waist. Protect that lower back. You're just dipping down and up. It can be a micro movement. And then bringing it down, this will be the burnout round. Start pulsing as soon as you finish. Get into a high plank hold. So this is going as long as possible right here on this side. Go, go, go. Let's see who lasts the longest. So when you reach failure, that's when you come to standing. I know you don't want to wave the white flag, but if you come to standing, you've reached failure. So try to stay in it. You got it, Jessica.
Oh, we got one down. High plank, good job. We got two. Holding on to it, pulsing up, down. Deep bend through the knee. High plank hold as soon as you can no longer. Pulse. Good work, Candace. It's down to two. Em, good job, Candace. Emily Barna holding on to it. High plank means your butt is flat. Strong through the shoulders. Good work, team. We're gonna give them 20 more seconds to burn it out. Good work, Candace. Hold on to it. 15 more seconds, team. If you're in that plank position, get off your knees. Five seconds, keep your butt low. Three, two, and one, jumping up, switching sides. We're burning out that opposite leg. Ready, set, go. This is the burnout round for this leg. So stay low. There is always a bend in the knee. Both knees bend and you pulse up and down. So good, roll your shoulders away from your ears. Good work, team. Doing your best right here. The moment you come to standing and your knee locks out, you have to go into high plank. Good work, Emily. So breathing, being mindful of that breath. Good work, Karen. Staying low. It should feel like your muscle and your butt is about to cramp. Oh, holding on to it, 20 seconds, team. Good work, Emily Barna. Leading the troops through the suffering, I love it. Ten seconds. Three. Two and one, bringing it down, switching movements now. We're taking it to a reverse lunge to high knee. Let's start on the left side. So you reverse lunge backward, one leg back, and then you high knee up, taking it to the jump with the high knee though. So the standing leg must come off the ground and you take a little hop at the top just to be sure your knee goes high enough. Here we go, team. 45 seconds at a time, starting with that left leg. Starting in 15 seconds, reverse lunge. Try to get your knee to touch the ground and then drive your knee up as you take the hop. Staying on the same leg, 45 seconds and go. So taking a good runner's lunge, be mindful of what your hands are doing. Good work, Emily Bailey. Deep lunge, high knee up. Trying to get as many reps as possible. So don't slime through these movements. Back and forth you go. And switching sides. So opposite leg drives back and then up. Good work, team. So a lot of balance, a lot of coordination, but practice makes permanent here. 
hands up prayer center on your hips. Maybe you're driving like it's a running sprint with your hands. Balance, stability, proprioceptive awareness so you don't fall in your real life. Keep driving, keep lifting. Keep working that booty right here. Three, two, and back to the original side, go. Fifteen seconds. Good work, Karen. Drive the knee up, Jessica. Good. That extra knee drive gets the abs involved. And who doesn't want the abs involved, right? And switching to that second side. Go. So don't collapse over. Stand tall with your upper body. So feel the lower abs lifting the leg up. Anna, still moving. Here we go, three, two, and one. This will be the burnout round, as many reps as possible. On your mark, get set, go. So you know you've reached failure when you cannot continue through the reps seamlessly. If you're taking a long time to get from one to the next, keep going. High plank position upon failure. So if you take any time at the bottom or the top to shake it out, you have earned the plank position. So deep lunge, feel that booty work, feel that front quad engage as you drive up to standing. Anna, high plank, good work. 20 seconds to hold this plank, team. Ten seconds. So good, strong plank practice right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Switching legs. Let's burn out this other side. Here we go in three. Here we go in two. And go. Here we go, Emily Bailey. Good job. So back and forth, avoiding that stutter step in the middle. So sweep the leg forward and back. Good, Karen. Good work, Karen. Hold a good, strong plank. Feel the abs drive in toward the spine on that plank hold. Taking the hop every time. If you do a rep that does not involve a hop, you have reached failure. Good work, team. Moving through it seamlessly. Good job, everybody. 
in plank position. Suck in your belly button into your spine. You got 20 seconds. So not a downward dog, but a plank position. Keeping your booty low. Five to finish. Three, two, and one. Moving next exercise. This will be a static squat to a reverse tap. So you're gonna hold a squat, a squat, air squat, and you're just gonna tap one leg, starting with that right leg, tapping it back and forth. Only one leg taps back and forth. So not coming to standing ever. 45 seconds at a time, staying on the same leg for the entire duration of the 45 seconds. Here we go, starting in 10. So staying on one leg. Choose which leg you start on. Stay low, deep squatted isometric hold with that leg tapping back and forth. Good work team. Go, go, go. So shoulders away from the ears. Chin is lifted, confident, chest up. Stay low in that squat. So imaginary chair behind you, you're sitting down in it and you're just tapping your foot back and forth. Trying to avoid that coming up to standing. Eight seconds. Three, two, and switching sides. And go. So the idea here is to keep that hold, that squat hold. You don't have to step your foot back very far. You just gotta move back and forth, tap it back, bring it forward. But the more important piece is to be sitting in an imaginary chair. So not just hinging at your waist, we don't wanna mess up or compromise your lower back. So imaginary chair, and then you're just moving your foot a little bit back, tapping it forward, bringing it back. Five seconds. And switching back, original side, go. Good work, Candace. So staying really low, isolating that upper body. Shoulders back, Jessica. Good. And switching sides, go. You got it. It's supposed to feel like this. Stay very focused. Laser focus on that movement through the legs. Shoulders back, Jessica. Good job, everybody. There it is, Karen, back and forth. So trying to keep that deep bend in the knees, sitting in that imaginary chair. Feeling that booty work right here. And here comes the burnout round, original side. On your mark, get set, go. High plank upon failure. So failure is when you come up to standing. So just stay in that low squatted position. Make this mean something right here. Make it count. This is all physical right here. You're a machine. Tell yourself that. Back and forth. Grinding into that glute muscle. Good static hold in the upper body. Good work, Emily Bailey.
soon as you stand up, come into that high plank. Good work, Karen. Good job. Moving back and forth through that leg. 20 seconds. Remember, practicing these good high plank holds. Sucking your belly button in toward your spine. You'll get good at this. Stay in it. Eight seconds. Butt is low. Knees are off the ground. Three, two, and one. Coming up to standing, burning out that opposite leg. Good job, Emily Barna. Here we go in three, two, opposite leg burnout. Go. So squat low, tap your foot back. Hyper motivated self right here. All the positive self talk. So staying low, butt is low. Tap the foot back and forth. Good work, Emily Bailey. Keep it up, Jessica. High plank as soon as you fail. Keep your butt low. Shift your weight forward. If you feel it in the shoulders, I want you to feel it in the abs. 20 seconds here, team. Ten to finish. Stay off your knees. Practice a good, strong, high-integrity plank. Three. Two and one, coming into the final movement of this sequence. Not the session, but the sequence. You're gonna stand tall and you're gonna be doing leg floats. So you've done this before if you've taken my session before. You're gonna float your leg back into a capital letter T and then you're gonna bring your leg forward in front of you, trying to avoid touching the ground ever. So bring your leg forward and then sweep it back and out, so one of you turn toward the camera so they can see the out part. So if you look at Anna, she's gonna bring her leg out to the side, opening up her hip and then bringing it back to the capital letter T. Staying on the one leg for 45 seconds. You guys have two rounds on each leg to practice. The final burnout round will fail once your foot touches the ground. So here we go. Moving through the hip, opening up the leg, starting. What? It doesn't matter if you start forward or back, but you have to come into the capital letter T when your foot is behind you, and then you're moving your foot out, not just sweeping it through. So it's an outer half circle movement. Here we go, team. Getting started in 10 seconds. So good, strong foundation in that standing leg, and then float the foot all the way out. You're a ballerina today, let's go. So slow and controlled, never touching your foot on the ground. Good strong core right here. Good, Emily. Good. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Switching legs and go. So wide circle out to the side. Try to avoid putting your foot onto the ground. Good work. A lot of mental focus. A lot of perseverance. If you fall out of it, just get right back into it. Slow. 
slow and controlled movements. And switching legs back to that original side. Three, two, and one. Switching sides. Go. Good focus. Seamless movement here. Your heart rate is lowering. You're staying calm. Three, two, and one. Coming into that burnout round. Here we go. Go back to that original side. Trying to do it as long as possible. As soon as your foot touches the ground, take it into a high plank. Here we go in three, two, and go. So a lot of focus. You do not have to race through this. Trying to take your foot wide. Trying to stand strong in that standing foundational foot. Once your foot touches the ground at all, you've earned the plank position. Good work, Karen. That's it, Emily Bailey. Hold on to it. Uh-oh. A lot of balance, a lot of mental focus. You can't be thinking about anything else but your body right now. Good work, team. Twenty more seconds. Butt stays low if you're in that plank position. Good strong foundation. Knees stay off the ground. Ten seconds. Three. Two and one, everybody coming up to standing. You get a second try on this next side. Let's do it. Starting in three, burn out in two, and go. So a good calm mind, staying very focused right here. Good job, everybody. Thank you. 
So stay off your knees if you're in a plank position. Keep your butt low. Good try, Emily Bailey. I'm proud of you. Good job, Jessica. Good work, good work. Good job, everybody. Twenty seconds to finish. Keep a good, strong plank with your butt low. No downward dogs, friends. Stay on your forearms or on your palms, but hold a plank. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, and one, bringing it down. Good job, we finished that sequence. Moving on to the next sequence, let's get your heart rates up a little bit. This will be an every two minute on the minute sequence, starting with six, eight, 10 reps. So it'll be six burpees. Eight glute bridges. She's gonna, they're gonna show you what these look like. So everybody knows the burpee, right? So coming all the way up, taking your hands above your head, coming down into a push up, hands come above the head, feet leave the ground. There's burpees. Then you're taking it into a glute bridge. So setting your butt onto the ground all the way down, and then driving up with the hips all the way up, trying to keep your legs as straight as possible. The closer in your feet are to your butt, the easier it'll be. So if you keep your legs extended long, you'll feel more in the glutes. Then you're gonna lay down and take it into an alternating V up. So lifting your leg one leg at a time, trying to avoid having your feet rest on the ground at all, reaching both palms to touch one foot, alternating out the feet. So this round, you'll have two minutes. It's gonna go six burpees, eight glute bridges, and 10 alternating V-ups. The next round, we're gonna add two to each of those numbers. So for the V-ups, you're doing 10 each leg. So 10 alternating each leg. So six, eight, 10 every two minutes. You'll have a lot of time to recover on this round, so enjoy it. Here we go in 10 seconds. Six, eight, 10, six burpees, eight glute bridges, and 10 alternating V ups each side. And go! <laughs> So you're trying to earn as much recovery as possible. So on those glute bridges, try to really pinch through the booty at the top of it. Eight of those. And then you lay down and do those 10 alternating V-ups each leg. So try to avoid having the heel touch the ground at all. Reach. So not just your neck is crunching, but your whole waist comes up. Ten total. Each leg. Good work, team. That's it. Good job, everybody. Staying hyper motivated right here. Finishing those reps. You have 40 seconds to breathe. And then we're moving into the round of eight, 10, and 12. So you're adding two reps to each of those. So eight, 10, and 12 reps. Eight burpees, 10 glute bridges, and 12 alternating V-ups each leg. Give that core some love. Here we go. 15 seconds this time until we get started. Two minutes of work. Earn your recovery, team. Here we go. Starting in three, two, eight burpees. Go. Okay, 
So take your feet long in those blue bridges. Alternating V ups. Good work, everybody. Twelve each leg. going to be 10, 12, and 14. 10 burpees, 12 blue bridges, and 14 alternating V-ups each leg. Try to race to the finish so you get the time to recover. Let's go. Eight seconds. Three, two, and go. 10 burpees. Using your core to jump your legs up and back each time. That's it, Jessica. Cutting no corners, counting all the way to 10. Taking it into those 12 blue bridges. Squeeze your butt cheeks at the top. Hips drive high. and go 12 burpees 14 glute bridges and 16 v-ups each side go fast beat this timer right here Got it, guys. Good work, good work. Pinching high with the hips on those glute bridges. Some 
Good, Emily. Come on, Jessica, you got it. Still moving. Go, 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 get through this round, team. Come on, Anna. You got it. Go, go, go. Good job, everybody. Finish strong right here. Everyone must finish. Good job, everybody. Finish, Anna, you got it. Once you finish, stand up. Everybody. Anna, good job. And bringing it down, the final sequence, we've made it. The fun, Jen's like, wait, what? Final sequence, here we are. These are gonna be 30 seconds into 15 second holds. We're gonna start with 30 seconds of mountain climbers, which it, at Suffer City, it's gonna be a knee to a tricep, floating the foot all the way. Oh wait, nope, almost. We're gonna float the foot the whole time. So we'll bring it driving the knee into the tricep turning to the side for me. So drive your knee in that high plank position into the tricep for 30 whole seconds. And after 30 seconds, you're gonna stay there and you're gonna bring your right knee to meet your right tricep and you're gonna static hold. Anna's gonna demo that for you. Static hold, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna go back into it, 30 seconds. Knee to tricep and then you'll static hold for 15 on the left. And then we're gonna move into bicycle crunches. 30 seconds of bicycle crunches, moving your knee all the way to your elbow, back and forth. Somebody will demo it for you momentarily. There we go. And then it'll be a 15 second right elbow, left knee hold, driving the elbow into the knee and then back to bicycle crunches for 30. And then a left elbow into the left knee or left into the right knee hold for 15 and then we'll be finished. We're just gonna assault your core one final time. Here we go. So in that high plank position, starting in 10 seconds, you're bringing your knee all the way to the tricep. Here we go in three, two, and go. So driving the knee into the tricep, back and forth, alternating it out. Trying to avoid being on your knees. Ten seconds, still moving, and then you're bringing your right knee in to meet your right tricep and your static hold. In three, two, and one, right knee into the tricep, and you freeze your body. That means you don't move, and you crunch in more, and you stay holding that position. Three, two, and one, moving back into it. Knees to triceps, go. Back and forth. Trying to keep your butt low. Try to stay in that plank hold position. 15 seconds. Only one round through of this. Come on, team. It's mind over matter right now. Five seconds, and then you bring your left knee into your left tricep. Go, hold, static hold. Stay still, stay calm. Drive your knee into the tricep. And roll it onto your back, bicycle crunches, go. 
Driving your knee into your elbow. Make contact. Your elbow touches the top of your leg. Driving up, your shoulder blade leaves the ground. Back and forth. Firing up those abdominal muscles, letting those obliques do some work right here. Taking your right knee, static hold into the left. Good. Cross the body hold. Drive your elbow into your leg. Reach a little further. Anna Hernandez. And bicycle crunches, go. Final 30 seconds of the bicycle crunches. Right into that final hold. Come on, team. Move, move, move. Fifteen seconds. Get those shoulder blades off the ground. Move through the waist. Three, two, and then hold. Isometric. Knee into the thigh. Bring your leg closer to the elbow. Elbow closer to the knee. Come on, team. Three, two, and one. Bringing it down. We've made it, everybody. Good job. We'll cool you down for two whole minutes. If you're laying on your back, just stay there. Bring your right knee into your right armpit. Hug it in close. Extend the left leg long. Pull it in close to the chest and then fold it across your body. So lay across the body. Good job. No worries, Katie. I love you for showing up. I know you were doing the work. So forward, across the body. Try to keep your shoulder blades on the ground here. Getting that twist through the lower back. And release, extend. Grab that opposite leg, hug it in close to the armpit until the point where you feel a pinch there. And then, Fold across your body. Trying to keep the shoulder blades on the ground. Good work, team. And then release. Now hug in both knees to your chest. Maybe take it into a happy baby, rolling around on that lower back. Maybe grab your opposite feet. Open up your legs, sway side to side, rolling around on that lower back. Good job, everybody. And now rolling onto your belly, let's take three cobra poses here. Rolling onto your belly, extending your legs long behind you. Press your laces of your shoes into the ground. Bring your hands right by your rib cage, right next to the breast, and then press up. Three, two, one, press up. Lift your chin, lift your heart. Feel the length through your midsection. Stretch in the lower back. In three, two, one, release. We're gonna do that two more times. So release down and then breathe. Three, two, one, press up. All the way up. Really feel length through that middle section of your abs. Lengthen there. Three, two, one, release. Final time here. Hands plant, press up, three, two, one, go. Up, breathe, the thighs press into the earth. And release down, press into a downward dog from here. Pedal your feet out side to side. One heel into the earth, bend the knee, the other heel into the earth. And then slowly walk your hands back to your feet. Stay in that forward folded position. <laughs> Stay in that forward folded position. Let your head hang heavy. All the way to your head hangs heavy, team. And then one vertebrae at a time, slowly roll up to standing. Good job. Give yourselves a round of applause, everybody. Good work, good work. That's it. You did it. They did it. 